My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got one hell of a truck right here. Let me tell you, this thing is nut and bolt restored. I think they replaced every single nut screw every last little item is uh, new on this truck it's got a supercharged 350 motor air conditioning automatic i drove this thing about 25 30 miles it's fantastic driving truck visit volocars.com that's where you can read all the specs study over 100 pictures and get the price not only on this one but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale visit volocars.com if you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you will be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, it's my pleasure to take you for a spin in this 71 Chevy C10. Yeah, body was off the frame. The entire chassis is like new. It's gloss black, all new front end components, the ball joints, the bushings, uh, shocks, you know, front and back, I should say. It's all new stuff. Um, the bottom of the truck is painted the same color, but it's done in a, like a chip guard, like a bed liner, but it's tinted this silver color. Up in the wheel wells, it's just as smooth as gloss and glossy as the outside of the truck. You look up at the motor, it's got a beautiful polished finned aluminum oil pan, a high torque starter. Uh, it's got a chrome flywheel cover. The Turbo 350 Automatic has a matching finned aluminum pan that matches the uh, engine pan. The drive shaft and new joints look new. In back, it's got its 12 bolt rear end with a aluminum Mosier uh, cover on it. Really nicely bent dual exhaust. It's all tucked up behind the fenders there. Has Flowmaster mufflers and a crossover pipe. All new brake system, it's disc in the front. So new lines, hoses, emergency brake cables look like they're new. Uh, it's got an electric fuel pump under there. And they put the body back on the frame. They use polyurethane bushings. It's got sway bars front and back. Uh, it's got a pan hard bar in back. And again, all new bushings, nuts, bolts, hardware. Practically everything you look at under this truck is new. The body's gorgeous. I honestly don't know of a, a problem in the body. I don't see any rust. I don't see any dents, waves, damage, bubbles, uh, nothing like that. So it's a silver metallic, obviously. Metallic is laid out 100%. There's no cloudy, no blotchy areas. And it's got a wet, glossy finish. It's got some nice layers of clear coat that's been polished out. Uh, smooth and glossy. I mean, it's, well, you see how glossy it is. And everything was replaced. The marker lights, the emblems, the antenna, the door handles, even the locks here are polished. Stainless hardware, new tail lights, the chains for the tailgates new. They did eliminate the rear bumper for a clean look. It has this roll pan with a recessed license plate. And this is all in beautiful shape. Obviously, it's a short box uh, with the step side. It has 20-inch Foose wheels uh, with some performance tires. Uh, the guy who just wiped the wheels down said there's a little bit of pitting like towards the inside of the wheel. So they're not perfect, but they're still real nice. Gas cap, the gasket around it. Guess what? All the glass, all of it's new. And all the rubber gaskets and seals, this chrome, the chrome for the vent, all of that is new. New mirrors, uh, wipers are new, new windshield, has a cowl induction hood. Up front, the grill and the bumper was color keyed to the uh, truck. Let's get under the hood here. I told you about a supercharged 350 motor. So yeah, it's a 350 motor, it's got aluminum heads. It's got a wind aluminum intake and a supercharger with a big dual feed holly carb. It's got a nice polished dual intake air cleaner. It has a pre premium uh, fuel fittings and, and linkage controls. Dressed up with some finned aluminum valve covers, some billet spark plug wire holders. 
has a billet distributor with HEI ignition, ceramic coated headers. We'll get right back to that. Inside this truck, everything is new. I was literally driving with my wife and I brought it up. I said, can you find anything in this truck that's not new? We couldn't. It's got the deluxe interior, which is the headliner with the chrome trim around it. They've added retractable uh, shoulder belt seat belts. The entire uh, seat, the upholstery, the springs, all of that is new. But I'm talking, well, it's got a nice custom gauges, it's got a tilt column with a custom wheel. The, the knob for the brake release, the vents, the pedals, the carpet, the armrests, the door panels, the window cranks, the visors, the mirror, the dash pad, the, the chrome vent, uh, the heater controls. They're the modern. They look original, but they're not cables. They're electric. They slide easy. The ashtray's new. If you ever open an ashtray in an old truck, they're usually, you got to jimmy them out. This thing slides in and out. It's new. Back in the engine compartment, front of the motor is decked out with billets, aluminum brackets, pulleys, uh, serpentine belt system, uh, chrome power steering pump, chrome alternator, chrome power brake booster and master, chrome air conditioner, the compressor I should say, all braided uh, hoses, braided dipstick tube down to the distributor. Uh, nice big aluminum radiator with dual electric fans, got a polished overflow bottle, and you can tell this was a part, it's all gloss silver. The core support, in the nooks and crannies, the in, inside of the fender is shiny silver. All of that's beautiful. Back inside the truck here, um, the cigarette lighter's new, the bezel around the ignition where it says on, start, off, that little label is new. It has a shifter, B&M shifter on the floor. It looks like a four-speed, but that's the automatic shifter. In the glove box is a, uh, a torque lockup control. I just Googled it. I'm not even sure exactly what that does, but it's a $250 item. So you have nice custom gauges with a nice big clock right in the middle. Uh, so it's new, new, new in here. Kick panel speakers with the uh, retro uh, stereo, it has an auxiliary uh, plug on it. The gauges light up red, they're beautiful. Can't ask for better than that. Forget the radio, that's the music right there. Only 267 miles since it's been done. 267 miles is all that's on this truck. The battery's new, the cables, it's bolted down, the washer bottle's hooked up, the wiring harness looks new, the horns are in there. The tailgate does open. Incredible truck, all the weather strips. When I say new, there's 260 miles on this truck or whatever it is, 270. Every part looks like it was replaced. It was probably done four or five years ago, but obviously wasn't driven. It's a good old truck. I drove it to a doctor appointment with my wife. Fantastic, just goes down the road beautifully. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of what I think of the truck. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask. They will help you. They will also help make the financing, delivery, uh, paperwork real easy. That's what they do every day. So visit volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
click on that bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.